For all your comic book needs, check out AlterEgoComics.com for action figures, statues, collectibles, comic books, and much more. Link is in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to Figure Friday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel DC Comics Unlimited Injustice Joker figure. And this Joker is based off the video game Injustice Gods Among Us. I've never played the game, but I'm a big Batman fan. And I thought this Joker looked really cool, so I wanted to pick him up and add him to my collection. So let's take a look at him in the packaging. As you can see, Joker is here in a standard pose. You can see it says Injustice the Joker at the bottom along with a little promotional poster thing for the video game with Joker and it says based on the game Injustice Gods Among Us available April 2013 at the top is a DC Comics Unlimited logo and Adult Collector logo up there and the background is pretty cool with like the flames look I think that looks really nice the orange it's a nice contrast on the shelf compared to other figures so it's nice it also has these breathing holes, you, if you could see it. Yeah, there you go, you could see it there. So the plastic breathes easier and doesn't warp or anything from heat while it's shipping from overseas, so that's cool. On the back here, you could see there's another close-up of Joker from the game, and it says ha 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 in the background to represent Joker's evil laugh that we all know him for. You could see the DC Comics Unlimited logo at the top, and Justice the Joker name there. Um, it says, these figures feature designs based on an exciting new game from DC Comics. From the creators of Mortal Kombat, Injustice Gods Among Us allows you to control the incredible powers of DC Comics' greatest icons in a battle of epic proportions. To learn more, visit Injustice.com. Also in the set is Injustice Superman and Injustice Green Lantern. And down here is just a bio about Joker. So, that's cool take a look at him out of the package. Alright guys, so here we have the Mattel Injustice Joker figure fresh out of the package. Overall I'd say it's actually a really awesome figure of Joker. It's really detailed and he has a ton of articulation. So let's take a look at him up close, it's really cool. As you can see here, Joker has a typical creepy smiling head scan. He's got that huge evil grin. You can see all the detail in his teeth, which is really cool. He has this like spiky-ish hair that goes all the way around. You can see he has his typical face paint. His ears are not painted, which is cool. You can see the details in his hair as well. So it's really nice. It is a ball-jointed head. And you can move up and down as well as left and right. So that's nice. The suit doesn't really restrict his movement. And neither does his really pointy chin, so that's good. I'm going down to his suit now. His suit jacket, you can see, has a flower. Uh, he's got these really cool purple, yellow, and green designs. Um, it's just really detailed. I don't even know how to describe the suit. That's how crazy it is. It reminds me of like a jester type look, which is cool. But you can just see all the details in his coat, which is really neat. He doesn't have a chest joint. Uh, he kind of has a swivel waist joint but it's very restricted due to his suit. But you can just see here like the buckles and everything. Just very detailed. Looking at his arms, he has ball jointed arms as I just showed you. You could twist them as well as move them up and down. He has typical elbow joints. And he also has ball jointed wrists that move up and down as well as swivel. You could see cool details in his sleeves. So with those buckles and designs, it's really cool. And same with his other arm. Ball jointed moves up and down and is not restricted by his jacket, which is nice. He has a typical elbow joints swivel wrist joints and move up and down as well. Just be very careful moving his wrist because he is thin and his hands are kind of thin as well so they're very uh, fragile I would say. So be very careful with that. But this figure is really cool. He has more of those designs 
on his sleeves here as well. Out of his lower torso, he has uh, he doesn't have ball jointed legs, but his legs go up and down, and he has joints in the sides as well that allow his legs to spread like this. So that's neat. You can do the splits and pose him very well. He has cool designs going down his pants on both sides. He also has swivel, I guess thigh joints, because it's above the knee on both legs as well as knee joints where you could actually twist his knee if I could show you. There we go. Yeah, so his knees actually swivel. So that's an extra hidden joint that you may not have known he had. So that's really neat. And then going down to his feet now, he has pointy brown leather shoes. And they have a, it's not exactly ball jointed, but his ankles are poseable as well as going up and down. Just be careful, his pants kind of restrict the movement so don't force it too much. Yeah, you can see all the details in him. My favorite part is his jacket, or coat, whatever you want to call it. It's just really cool. Definitely pick him up. If you're a fan of the game, which I'm not, I've never played it, so I can't speak for the game, pick him up as well. It is a really neat figure to have in your collection, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Figure Friday on Facebook for future reviews you'd like to see. And I will see you soon. Thanks.